All right. <laughs> I'm starting over again. Cut! All right. Hello, toy fans. This is Chris from Collector Archive Service. Nope, 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 nope. Hey there. Hey there, toy fans. Why? Come on. Hey That's your signature Pull intro, yourself together, it? Chris. All right, all right. Pull all yourself right. together. Cut, cut, cut. cut. Ready? All right. Toy fans, this is Chris Whitlock from Collector Archive Service. Welcome to CAS Presents Passion for Collecting. Passion for Collecting is the official CAS podcast. We're sponsored by Collector Archive Services. Devel um, visit our website at www.collectorarchive.com for collectible toys, video games, and trading package trading cards. I am here with um, my two co-hosts, uh, Ross Bard, Anthony Spinicki. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. Probably happy Thanksgiving. It's been a while since we've done this. It's and, February. Uh, it's February. You should have should have led with Groundhog's Day. <laughs> you oh so little bit of uh, little bit of foreshadowing. Groundhog's Day. Also uh, so also hello, hello collectors. Hello Ooh, collectors. There it is. There so it is. We're gonna talk later about the Morphe's auction, but um, one little thing about uh, we were in Pennsylvania for Groundhog Day. So I left on Groundhog Day, and we that were, is true. Uh, yeah, I was sitting, I was sitting eating breakfast um, when and they actually broke into the news to see Punks and Honey Phil, and he actually did see his uh, see a shadow. Get so, out of here! He saw a shadow. He did. Yeah. Well, wow. it was a gloomy, miserable. <laughs> Didn't see that day. coming. So, Didn't see that coming. Darn it! Six more weeks of winter, right? Yeah. Didn't so, see that uh, but anyways, guys, welcome back to the show. I hope all is well with you. I haven't seen you guys in a while. So, what are you um, talking about? I just saw you last week. Well, okay, you saw me last week. We haven't seen you guys online in a while. Oh, um, oh. So, but uh, yeah, so we're a uh, lot of lot of cool stuff going on at CAS. A lot of cool news to um, share and discuss, and um, hopefully by I, you know putting a little bit of pressure on um, on Anthony. But uh, if this is out before February is over, right now we're doing a uh, thirty day express on uh, any six by nine carded items. So if you've been sitting on your uh, your vintage collection or your modern Star Wars or your vintage Star Wars and you have something you or if you bought something from the Morphe auction and you want to uh, send it in and get it graded, now is the time. So uh, 30 day express on anything six by nine. And uh, we're getting, getting a bunch of people. You know what I think we found out, right? This is what? a big this is gonna be a big surprise to anyone yeah. that runs Shocker. grading Spoiler companies. Alert. People <laughs> like things turned around fast. Crazy. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know if you've ever heard that people don't like waiting a long time for their graded collectibles no. to come back. And people never talk about that. But we've seen in that month, a lot of people have said, you know what? 30 day turnaround, sign me up. Sign it me turns up. Turns out that's what they want. So, yeah, it's, it has been an overwhelming success. Um, and, and what we're doing, so folks, so folks that are listening and don't know, um, you are sending obviously anything you want. Send in loose Star Wars, send in Transformers, send in, you know, whatever. But we want what we want you to do is create an order for your six by nine carded stuff and then an order for everything else. The idea being is it helps us process that particular order a lot faster and it gets through the process, it gets through the, the, the system a lot faster. Otherwise, you know, we have to split the orders and, and break things up and it takes a, a lot longer. So, you know, this is a little bit of conditioning is trying to say, you know, teach um, our customers that, you know, if you send things in, if, if you if you tailor your order to um, your specific items, that they fall into our categories a lot easier and you can kind of push things through a lot, lot faster. So, um, you know, we're getting a lot, but we're getting a lot of, of a lot of customers that are very, very excited about sending things in. So. By the time this comes out, it's going to be kind of towards the end of it because it, um, this offer expires at the end of February. You don't well, know that, Chris. I This could be out tomorrow. You don't know that. I may it, not sleep tonight. You know, very well <laughs> could be, but you know. You have no idea. But if, you know, if Ross, you're, you, should but, mark, you should mark it. Today's what? The 7th? He's today saying is February, February 7th. That's right. When's it coming out? Uh, we'll see. It won't be the end of February. Maybe we get it out in the single digits. First of March. First, first of March. March. It'll be I think I Chris think, called so me out as a slacker. He thinks he's going to get under, it out at the end of February. I'm going to put the over under now at February 13th. Monday, February 13th. That's the over under. Okay. All right. I say it's going to be over because you're a busy Digging guy. You got young kids. You know, just things mm -hmm. things get in the way. All right, Chris. So Challenge we'll me, Chris. Yeah. Go ahead. Wrong. Challenge it's, me. It's Prove tough. Chris Chris messed up this intro about 15 times on the way in, so there's a lot of editing. A lot of editing. I think he said collector archive service singular about 15 times. So yeah, 
All I'm going to say is if you're listening to this podcast at the end, after the intro, don't don't leave once the outro music starts because there will be a lot of outtakes I'll put in at the end. <laughs> see, and because of that. When, when I release the show before February 13th. See, because of that, it's going to be late. So, it's you know, but we still, we love you and we forgive you, you know, so. <laughs> but, that, so yeah, so 30 Day Express, absolutely take advantage of that. Um, CAS is going to be at a bunch of shows this year. Um, I, I we don't I don't have a complete list. I have the list of where I intend to be. And uh, Ross, you can kind of you know, sprinkle in some that you may or may not be at. But I'm going to be at the uh, Columbus Toy Show on uh, March 19th. I'm going to be at the um, the Great Ohio Toy Show at Xenia, um, which is the very next week. It's uh, <laughs> oh, well yuck! Done. Gross! Gross! <laughs> oh. I had my finger on the trigger he just in case. Ready. <laughs> he was so ready. Uh, for people that are listening, there is a um, a very, very gross mashup of uh, my face on uh, Lucy Lawless's senior body. and uh, It's so confusing because I'm so attracted to it. I'm so attracted uh, to it. It is uh, the most attractive I've ever looked in my entire life. So, yes, I'll be Can we see it again? Can we see it again? <laughs> of course. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Um, but I'm going to be at that show um, in spite of the absolutely gross um, uh, <laughs> visual. Uh, so, like, Columbus is one of the coolest shows I've ever been to. Um, and, and, you know, uh, James Ford puts on an incredible show. And um, and typically the um, the promoter for Xenia does, has a table at that show, at, at the Columbus Xenia? show. Yeah. Xenia? Yeah. <sighs> And uh, and James sets up at the Great Ohio Toy Show. Um, um, but the Great Ohio Toy know. Show. I don't know what I like better, putting this, this picture up or muting Chris. Which uh, is better. <laughs> uh, but, but it's the... That's great. Which, oh. which is... How about you mute him and you put up the picture? I think that's that's where we, we that's hit just the too podcast. Much. Oh, yeah, that's podcast right. gold. Yeah. Podcast gold. <laughs> <laughs> is there like right, a like a, a an academy award for podcasting we might win it now yeah let's look <laughs> all right you're back on chris <laughs> uh, anyways uh the great ohio toy show i'm not going to name it by its other name um it's it's like seven buildings it's it's an it's incredible it's it's a really really big show so columbus and and that show um are great um when's say, the senior show again it's uh 325 23. 325 23. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, the so next month, almost a month so later. One, one last one last glimpse, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so confused by that picture. The, <laughs> one month after is uh Kane County, and uh we're gonna do our best to be at that show. Uh we um that's 422 to 423. Never been to a Kane show. I have a really, really busy oh, show schedule, show. but one that I definitely want to try to get to. Um, there's a new show this year that I'm going to do. It's um, in Novi. It's a suburban show place. So it's a really, really big venue and right kind of close to me. So that is May 6th. And then um, we have ICC Con um, 526 to 528. Uh, can't wait for that one. So that's a, a handful of shows. Ross, you know of any that you're going to be at for sure? Or I, I'm going to try to make it to the ICCC. Um, and maybe I'll join you in Columbus. Maybe. That'd be cool. Or, 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 the, or the Great Ohio Toy Show. That's one that you really should see. Which one? Xenia? Yeah. So both of them are great. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a good job not saying it, but I can't call anybody else. It kind of reminds me of I'm uh, you, you can't do that on television. Right. It's like saying, <laughs> like saying yeah. slime, I, I don't know, or yeah. water, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so attracted and repulsed by it at the same time. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Um, so, so, yeah, that's going to be some of the shows we're at. And uh, I guess one thing that I, I do want to um, talk about, um, you know, we have, you know, as CAS is growing, you know, um, and, and maybe a, um, uh, our, our, we're, we're dialing back a little bit on some of our more complex customs. And that's something I kind of wanted to take, take a minute or two to talk about um, both why, why we're doing it and what we consider to be a complex custom. But, you know, you've seen a lot of, a lot of, really fancy CIS things, but we've learned that, um, you know, those do take a lot of time and a lot of resources and we want, we're really focusing on trying to get our core items um, back to our customers, you know, faster. And, and 
to, to that end, you know, we've seen, you know, our our numbers, our turnaround time numbers, you know, start to ease up and get to a, a place where people are a little bit more comfortable. You know, we're offering this express service, which is kind of nice. Um, so, and that's, we're, we're sacrificing on one end to try to, um, to try to really bolster ourselves on the other. Um, now, when we say, you know, complex customs, you know, things that we're still going to do, if you want to do a, a figure with a trading card, we'll still do that. If you want to do, you know, a figure with an uh, autograph 8x10, we'll still do that. If you want to do the um, non-sonic welded figures that are kind of have the exploded diagram, still do that. But some of the things that we're, we're easing up on are, um, you know, the, the loose Star Wars ships, you know, kind of that were in the middle of a cube or a loose Star Wars ship with, uh, with figures, you know, suspended in the middle of a cube or anything where um where you have something um mounted to the bottom and something mounted to the back so if you had you know some some figure mounted to a, a bottom piece and then a whole bunch of you know paraphernalia or paperwork behind it you know we're trying to get away from things like that that you know take a lot of extra engineering sort of thing so i know people that, that loved us for our complex customs um you know and and we we love that 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 stage of our uh, our growth, but we definitely want to make sure we're getting back, you know, some of these other things, you know, in a more expeditious way, and that's something that we're doing at CAS to uh, to achieve that goal. Right. Well said, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's something we'll, we'll talk. And if you have something and you you have a question about it, don't just give up. I mean, you know, reach out to us and we can you know discuss with you whether or not it's something that you know. That we're we're still able to do, but uh, you know, in the meantime, we just we want to really kind of get things back to you faster. So, um, well said, Chris. Thank you. Did you I, and I wasn't muted, so that was great. <laughs> um, so, as far as the news, um, that's about all that I have, and we're going to be doing an interview here in a minute. But we do want to, I don't know. Throw something out and tease it. Is that is that? Oh, we're teasing. We're teasing here. Chris. <laughs> we're going to we tease. Have a big thing coming up, and uh, and we can't necessarily say it, but Ross is going to say what he can say. Well, about well it. look, we were, talk we were talking about this before. I wasn't sure how much uh, Anthony would get his act together and get this uh, podcast out quickly or not. Right, but apparently end he's going to get it of, out soon. End of February. End of February. Right. Is, right. Uh, yeah, we've Chris clearly has no confidence in you. Right. He's like, uh, you know, no, Anthony's whatsoever. doing whatever. His hang, Photoshop hang, skills are weak. Hanging Locker. out with this family. Right. <laughs> hanging out with this family. Yeah. Lacquer. That's fine. Messing around. <laughs> that's ex I think that's exactly <laughs> what he was thinking. Uh -huh. Exactly what he's thinking. But I, the whole time, was pretty confident that Anthony was going to get it out very soon. So mm. it's before I think we're going to launch something. But we are. I'm going to tease it here. I'm not going to give you the full details um, of what's going on or who we're working with, but I will say it's something that no one's ever done before in grading, right? It's a very a whole new line, a whole new company that we're forming, right? CES has always kind of graded everything under the CES umbrella, but for the very first time, we're creating a whole new brand, whole new type of offering, and we are partnering with someone that a lot of people know. Right? Not as many people as know me, but I mean, you know, he's he's out there. <laughs> so a very awesome individual who is extremely accomplished and extremely well known because of his talent. Um, talent in you know a particular genre. area. A genre. A, in and, a particular area. And a collector. And yeah, somebody I was who's say, very, very much into grading. So, Chris, you're giving away too much. You're giving away too much. Am I'm I, trying to tease here. I'm trying to tease here. No, I'm kidding. You said you said the perfect amount. You said the perfect amount. Um, but you know, we don't want to say it before it's out there. We have a whole kind of launch plan, but just know that it is something that I think a lot of people are going to be really into. Um, you know, we're starting something new, so it may take a little bit of time to build it, but, um, I think it's one of those watershed moments for CES or the name of this new company. Um, and I couldn't be more excited about it. Yes. And depending on when Anthony, uh, gets this done, you may or may not know about it. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. That could be a little litmus test. So look, I think our next podcast, because we're going to, we need we we kind of hinted at this, uh, touched on this at the outset, but it's been a while since we've had a podcast. You know, yeah. life gets in the way. 
Um, Anthony's a slacker. Um, That's the theme of the show so far. Yeah. Right. I mean, although Chris Chris was texting us like multiple times per week over the last several months to try to get us to do a podcast because he's got nothing else going on. Yeah, I so. got no life, so, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think I, I feel pretty confident that we'll get back to doing this in our next podcast, which will hopefully be in the next month or so. We will have launched this and we'll be able to talk about it, you know, in full detail and, you know, say everything about it. So really exciting stuff. I'm I'm. I, I don't recall being as excited about something related to CES, maybe ever. Yeah, I'm geeked. It's gonna yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Even yeah. when Chris joined, even even that. I mean, it was a pretty big, pretty big moment. I mean, he <laughs> came. He came at the same time as you, so I think you might have carried that that announcement. I but... came in like a wrecking ball. That's kind of. You know. <laughs> <laughs>